and at least I can't use the... I wonder if I could just, like, set this somewhere cool. I'm just going to stop moving it around. There we go. See the whole thing at once. And then at this... Oh, God, this isn't... Okay. So, where was I? Um, We don't study, you know, the brains or the... the we don't really study... I guess that's my point. It was like, we don't, we don't come at healthcare and wellness and, and meeting needs from a point of, you know, this is a priority. It's like, where, where can we make the money? Um, so when we're talking about diet and exercise, I, I, I want, um, I want to keep in mind that, um, that this is another area where, I'm going to know my body the best. And, you know, I got to thinking about it. Um, maybe I don't buy band-aids, uh, you know, for, for whatever. Maybe, maybe that's just a dumb idea, but it doesn't flip. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, but I, you know, when, when, when I was like super scary, skinny last summer, I was forcing myself to eat more than I am now, and I was forcing myself to work and be more active than I am now. And I, I am carrying a good 10 pounds more than I was last year at this time. So I just, I wonder like whatever I was doing or fighting um, at that time or whatever was going on in my body at that time it just, I, I have to wonder, like, was my, was the wisdom of my body kind of kicking in and saying, um, you know, that this, this was actually a need for me, that I needed to calm, calm down and, and hold still, um, and, and kind of let my, I'm, I'm, this is going to sound terrible, but kind of almost let my body go into starvation mode so that it knows to, to hold on to that resource, um, and, and, you know, eat when you're hungry, eat what you want when you're hungry. Um, but I, I do, I, I find that the more that I force feed, um, that it's almost like my body will reject it. There was a lot of diarrhea, a lot of vomiting. Um, and then it got to the point where I'm having, um, what the doctors swore up and down was an allergic response. Um, my, my, my flesh, my skin across my entire body was just on fire with hives for days. Um, and they said it was an allergic response, but it's, it's just funny to me. I, like, I understand that you don't, um, like carry the same sensitivities or, or reaction reactivity, you know, um, allergies with you throughout your entire life. And that, you know, uh, for example, uh, repeat exposure can create uh, an allergic response or, or a reaction that, that wouldn't have been there otherwise. I understand that, but they don't, I don't, don't, I can't find anything that says that they come and go in a matter of days. Um, and, and this is, you know, this is this, this early spring this year. So this is COVID. I'm unemployed. I'm sitting around at home, leaving the house maybe once a week. Um, and I'm not exposed to new products and I'm not eating. Um, I think the only thing I had been snacking on the last couple of days at that time was this, the same bag of Doritos. So, um, one day kind of in the middle of that, uh, whatever, um, I, of, of the, 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 uh, just eating Doritos a few, for a few days, um, I, I break out and, um, I'm sure I was eating a little bit of other things. I think I was at the time I was trying to do the boost drinks as well, the like calorie replacement drinks. Um, and then, you know, and, and, and when the, when the reaction subsided and it finally died down, um, and I started feeling a little bit better and just getting pissed off about, um, basically the care that I was receiving, I was feeling pretty flippant and ate a handful of Doritos and did not have an alert. I didn't have a response. I did not have any itching. I didn't have a breakout of any, any kind. So, I mean, and the blood work, the guy, you know, the doctor showed me like the blood work shows like that's what your body does. I'm going to turn the dryer off. Sorry.
that's what the body, that's what a healthy body does when it's having an allergic response. So this is actually encouraging, you know, to see that your, your body's reacting appropriately. Um, and I, I get that, but you're wrong. I'm not, a, it's not an allergic response. Allergic responses don't come and go in a day. This was my body saying, holy fucking shit, I'm on fire. Do something. <laughs> um, you know, so I, all I'm saying is that, uh, it, 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 in theory, if you maintain a consistent calorie intake output, you will maintain consistent energy levels and you will maintain, um, productivity and, and like you'll, you'll be able, you'll be worth exploiting. In theory, that's how it should go. I don't think that all bodies work that way. I, I, you know, if we're going to go, if we're going to start being so crazy as to talk about the existence of differently brain people, why not? Why, why can't we talk about how bodies are different and, and how, <laughs> The wisdom of the body is, is going to be a little bit unique for everybody. Um, I, st I started kind of talking about the occult in one of the last videos I did. And I don't know if this is part of that because it's newer, it's new age. Um, but there's a like a, an ideology or like a dogma that uh, is called uh, human design. And it, it kind of plays with. Um, like a chakra system as well as astrology and, and numerology and things like this um, to, to map out like it's basically astrology, but they're using a different framework. And, and just like with any ideology that feels good in a person's brain, like it tickles my brain in a way that breaks down the sensory experience into like needs based thinking. So um the 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 need of the varying um like energy levels or like the the need for the way that we eat um it, it all has to do with our our needs and our needs have to do with like our type um for example the 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 need of my like buried energy or like sometimes i need to sleep a lot sometimes i don't need to sleep a lot sometimes i need to to create, even if I'm just creating a pile of garbage, other times I, I need to hibernate and recharge, um, that that comes from the type that I am, that I'm not, um, consistently aligned with a, sh a sacral energy or like a, my, my connection to that creator force isn't something that I have consistent access to. Um, it's also because I am not a, uh, what's called a generator type, which, um, is, you know, in this, in this ideology, in this framework, um, a lot of people are that kind and for good reason, we need that. Um, so anyway, all I'm saying is, uh, when, when we look at, uh, the possibility for, um, like these differences in our needs, like when we look at a world where, or an ideology where those needs are, are, it's okay for them to be different. It's really kind of a cool way to think. Um, and like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to base like big decisions on what somebody I paid <laughs> to look at my chart said about me. Like, you, you know, like that's not, that's spiritual bypassing and I'm not interested in, you know, human design is definitely a massive money pit that you can, you can just stand at for as long as you want and just throw your money in, um, like anything else. Uh, but, but I do like the framework as far as it, it comes from a, a needs based, uh, solution, I guess, you know, they address, <clears throat> you know, how the types, um, interact with the, the world and how they base, you know, decision-making and, and things like that on responses in their bodies and their energy. Um, so I kind of started thinking about this mostly because I've been wanting to establish more movement in my day and I, I just kind of spontaneously, spontaneously stopped what I was doing earlier and just had to go through 
um, is the word vinyasa. I had to go through a couple of sets of, of just, you know, like bending, you know, in yoga, uh, bending forward, uh, really like, you know, working my shoulders upside down and loosening up, you know, downward dog, getting, getting through the, the chaturanga, you know, and it's been a while since I've done that and, and moving through, I don't know how familiar, uh, people are with, with what I'm talking about, but the, the chaturanga is this beautiful flow from, um, I think when I, when I'm doing it, it's, it's from a uh, plank and it's just this beautiful glide from plank into up dog, which is your, um, you know, you're sort of supporting your, your upper body with your, with your hands and, and that, that the lower part of your body, your feet are, you're, you're resting that lower part of your body on the, on the tops of your feet and you're, you're prone Anyway, it's just this beautifully absurd, weird way to position your body. Very different from, you know, sitting in a chair and, and knitting or watching something or writing or typing or, um, or even, you know, pushing your grocery cart around the store and walking. Um, and it just felt so good. Um, so I, I, I wanted to make this video to kind of remind myself, um, that, um, just getting frustrated or pissed off that people want to tell you, you know, what your body does and doesn't need or what it can and cannot do or whether it is or isn't different and what that means for you as a, a moral being, you know, person with values, a person with value and worth, um, you know, I can make, I, I'm the one that, that knows that. And, and we don't study what health is. We study what disease is and how to point it out and put it in a box and fix it so you can get back to work real fast. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I, I, I kind of want to remind myself to, you know, my body, my body pretty, pretty well told me you need to start moving. Um, and the last time it, it said that to me, I ran, uh, like nine miles the first week I started running and couldn't move for like a month after that. And I came down with a cold and like, you know, I, <laughs> coming down with a cold and feeling like that when COVID's blowing around the community didn't, you know, that was not a nice experience. So let's not repeat that self, future self. Let's, uh, let's take it easy and just flow through some yoga. Um, just so that feels good. Maybe I'll go for a jog early, early, early before all the tourists are out. Why is this Cory Dory having a twitch fit? Interesting. All right. Oh, I want to tell you about all my plants. So I think this, uh, Oh gosh, that's sort of a mess. I can't really tell what you're looking at. So part of this where the, yes, thank you. Um, there's a, a grass, what's left of a grass. And then there's like a, a, an umbilical cord sticking out of the base of the grass going into another grass. Baby pup, not see it, kind of see it. And I think that one's going to survive, but I don't know about the parent plant. <laughs> Uh, and then this one, I think, is a surviving little piece of a temple plant. Let's see how that does. And then that ugly lump behind the temple, the maybe temple plant, is a lotus bulb. And it had a little pup coming off of it, but I haven't seen it. And the pink stems are a, a, a scarlet temple. And they look pretty shaggy right now. A lot of these plants are grown um, in a way that's called immersed. And they're not grown submersed. So when you put them in the submersed, when you submerse them and put them in your tank, that immersed foliage has to kind of die and, and the submersed, submerged uh, foliage has to develop. So they're looking shaggy now, but they are putting off roots and they're, they're doing okay. Pink stem is the Scarlet Temple. Um, the the bottle bristly bottle brush looking guys are called, if I'm not mistaken, Kamboba. 
Um, and then these little round guys are Brazilian pennywort. Oh my god, I love them so bad. They're putting out tons and tons and tons of roots, and I just really hope they anchor down soon and get happy. And then this, like, leafy long guy with the curly top um, is a kind of java fern that um, has that curly little bit. And the java ferns are cool. Where's another one? So the one kind of behind this this leaf, this uh, penny, penny wart leaf, this other green one, he's looking pretty sad. He's got copper burns. But um, the, the java ferns will propagate by spitting out little little pups off their leaves and you'll start seeing root growth. Um, a lot of these pups um, were just floating around and when I put the spider wood and they got caught in the spider wood and I really like the way they arranged themselves in the spider wood. What else? More scarlet temple. There's a water sprite in the back and there's a dwarf hair grass. My Monte Carlo is not happy. This is an Anubis, Anubius. I can't remember if there's an I in there, but it's a Nana. It's a, a dwarf version. It's a very slow growing, that big, broad, glossy leaf. Um, beautiful plant. I'm so happy that the, the Odos spent some time and, and got all the algae off of his leaves. He looks so much better. The water sprite is fun. I'll have to do some more footage tomorrow when I clean it. I think I'm going to suck some water out and uh, rearrange a little bit. The quarries do this, they, they get into a mood and they get spastic and they'll try to zoom back and forth across the front of the tank and they bang into the spider wood so I'm going to tuck it back in the corner a little better so they can't bang into it. And then if, if people didn't know, um, putting rocks in your aquarium is really a bad idea because you know, you'll learn the hard way like I did that it messes with the pH so you have to be careful about what you put in but quartz crystal this is um, the amethyst I've got two pieces as I come across that I'm just gonna start collecting it this is gonna be my amethyst bush <laughs> and uh, so that the, the quartz crystals are um, inert so are the jaspers and the um, a lot of the agates Something that's not inert is something that's going to um, take place or is going to uh, be involved in, in a, a sort of gas mineral exchange. And it's going to mess with the pH of your of your habitat. And it, it really, take it from me, it, it, it goes south, it goes bad fast. So all those like calcite, dolomite, river rocks that you're emotionally attached to. Don't put them in your fish tank. Your, your corridores will not appreciate it. Okay. Goodbye.